After building my last project and editing the footage, I realized and felt that my garage is just too messy. While we're on lockdown, I figured it was a great time to clean my garage. And here is my garage two thirds of the way already clean. And that's how much sawdust was left. I was pretty set on figuring out a dust collection system. And then I got this DM from my friend and I thought, I should really get this in gear. So I checked out the filter when I shot back and lo and behold, this is what happens to your filter when you do not have dust collection after a while. Being somebody who's extremely cheap, I wanted to find a cheap way to do it. And even on Harbor Freight, their cheapest dust collection system was $150. So I went on YouTube and found a video from a guy named Chris Notap who made a simple cyclone dust collector out of two Home Depot buckets. It's a fantastic video and I liked it so much, I went to Home Depot, looked at the supply list and put an online order right away. If you wanna see the full build, definitely go see his video. The only reason I'm making this one is because my shop back is a little different. I have a two inch port on my shop back where I think his was a one inch port. This meant that the PVC connectors were the same size as my port, meaning that they wouldn't fit together. So this video shows a simple fix for that. Also, I noticed that my Home Depot bucket was different from the one that he was using. Mine had an inch and a half circle right in the center that came out about a quarter inch, where the bucket that he used was more flat in the middle. Now that might sound insignificant, but the PVC connector is the same size as the circle in the middle, so I didn't want to risk cutting it too big. So I decided to take the center circle and move to the right, but leave the same port on the left side just like his video. The other design feature that was pretty major is that there were only three rungs on my bucket where there were four on the one that he was using. This meant that my bucket wouldn't taper till it got lower and even after using my blade to taper the top about 20 times, it still didn't fit together. If you plan to make this dust collector and you have the same bucket that I do, I encourage you to use a jigsaw and make relief cuts all around the circumference of the rim. That way, you can push in on the plastic when you're trying to put the two buckets together and it should slide in with a little bit of a twist. To fix the problem with the port sizes, I picked up these rubber couplings from Home Depot that work with two inch diameter PVC. And these work great for my hoses. Here you can see I avoided the hole in the middle and moved it to the left for my shop vac. And I left the hole on the right side a half inch from the edge, just like Chris recommended. I also did glue the inside and the outside because I got a new Ryobi glue gun and I figured, why not? These are the only modifications I had to make for my shop vac and for the different bucket design that I used. So now it's time to test it out with the leftover sawdust and other crap that I had in my shop vac. Now it might not have been the best idea to use everything in the shop vac because it was also for my van and my house as well as my garage. A couple times my shop vac got clogged which put a lot of pressure on the dust cyclone and then actually imploded a little bit. But the funny thing is Chris actually came out with a video recently on how to fix that. Thanks again Chris! Since it kept getting clogged I decided to leave it until I could fix it but figured I had enough dust collected to see if it actually worked. So here's all the dust that I collected, as well as hair and other stuff. If I collected the rest of the pile, it would have been about half of the bucket. And here's a look inside the shop back. Not too bad, especially considering that I actually didn't do a deep clean on the inside before I started. Since I was happy from the results of the test, I decided to sweep up the rest of the pile, which is kind of funny for a dust collection video, but I wanted to do that until I was able to reinforce the buckets from Chris's update. Following Chris's instructions from his last video, I made a three inch line around the scrap bucket and cut it out with a jigsaw. After that, I took the hoses out of the rubber coupling so I could put the cutoff piece on the top bucket. After that, it was time to put the hoses back on and give it another test. As you can see, the top was reinforced great, the bottom not so much, but if I had a spare bucket that I could put on the bottom, then this dust cyclone would be complete. I just gotta pick one up later. So if you're thinking about making the same thing with these different Home Depot bucket designs or a bigger shop vac, I hope this helps. In the meantime, check out his video yourself. I bought some extra supplies, but all in all, it cost me about $25 to make this project.